Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be downloading quite a few things for free. So let's just go right into your PlayStation Plus. So that's in the end right here. Let's just go right into there. Of course, we need the PlayStation Plus membership in order to get these exclusives for free. So all we have to do is just look for them. And right here, check out the latest PS Plus exclusive pack. So let's just click right there to get into here. And we're gonna see all the new stuff that just came out. Now remember, I already made videos about other packs that have come out from before. However, these are brand new right now that we can get. So there's quite a few right here. Let me just scroll through all of them. So all these are the brand new ones that just came out. If I keep scrolling downwards, I'm gonna see more and more and more. And all of these I already have purchased. So that's why you don't see that yellow anymore on them since they're no longer new and I already have them. However, if I scroll up, I'm gonna see all the new ones, which are these guys. So let's just get started with this one right here. All we have to do is just press download. And yes, it's free. You won't have to pay anything for these packs. Right now it says purchased. Perfect. Next one is this one right here, which again, I'm just gonna press download. And not available for purchase. That's fine. It's okay when that happens. I actually made a video about that already. And it was with something to do with Fortnite. Now, Fortnite, it had the same mistake. So it would tell you that it's not available for purchase, although you already downloaded it. So all you guys had to do was go into the game and then automatically it would just show you the pack that you already have. Although it gave you that error. Same deal goes with this one right here. Or any other one that gives us this message, not available for purchase, it's okay. Once we go into the game, we're going to see it right there and we can apply it. Yep, so I'm not really worried about any of these because as long as we download them, we should be okay. So I'm gonna keep going and keep downloading each one of these, these, so you guys can see how it's done. But it's basically just pressing download on all of them. And like I mentioned before, it's okay that it says not available for purchase after you press download. Now it would be different if it told us right away not available for purchase and we couldn't press download then that's a problem because then we wouldn't be able to link it up to our account right here however as long as we're able to press download it's okay once we're in the game it's gonna automatically apply so same goes with this one from warface and we're gonna keep going download and not available for purchase that's okay we download it so it should be all right and same goes with this one there we go, purchased. I mean, obviously it's better if it just says purchased, then there's no confusion about it. However, if it gives us a message like this, once we download it, it's not available for purchase, it's okay. Let's just go right into the game and we're gonna see how we can apply these bundles. Anyways, that would be it for all the new bundles. I don't see any other free ones right here. If you guys are wondering how to actually apply these things, well, they automatically do. And uh, if you want to see an example of that, it would be in that Fortnite video that I made way back in the day, which was about a Fortnite pack, which had one of those special skins that came with it. And uh, yeah, you always get those messages. Just don't worry about it. It's gonna work regardless. And that's it for this video, all about exclusives right here for PlayStation Plus members. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.